I wish a Karen would. You know what we do? All across America, we look for Karens of the world because Karens are dangerous and they need to be exposed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, meet a male Karen today, a Ken. I will call him Chuck Norris Ken. Chuck Norris Ken decided it was a good idea at a Walmart um, to go unmasked and violent. He exercised violence against a black male um, who was the nicest guy you could ever meet. Uh, this took place in Austin, Texas. Uh, over the weekend, this male Karen tried to punch and kick uh, an innocent black man who said he just came for a new Pokemon video game. Here it is. Don't try, oh, oh, don't try, to, don't try to go too far and start something, right? Right? You want to see my back kick right now? Call the cops. Let's go. Call the cops? Yep, call the cops right now. That, that, that's what I'm tired of. You guys think. You guys, you black people. Okay. You guys think you guys are strong. Yeah. You guys think you're so strong and everything. All right, come on, make a move, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Time to go. Come on. Time to go. What? Excuse me. What? Excuse me. Hey, Pokemon Snap. Snap just came out. I was trying to get Pokemon Snap. <laughs> That's the nicest brother on the planet. Please understand this, okay? Now, I don't know if you heard it, but this male Karen, AKA Ken, when he was walking up to him, he says, do you wanna see my back kick? Like, who in the hell talks like that other than a male Karen? Uh, big ups to this guy for keeping his calm. Uh, he did not run away from the guy, but goodness, this is just out of damn control. Anna? I mean, it's just it's just so embarrassing, right? Like I don't know what made this guy, this male Karen. And let me just say, I do appreciate that we're finally also focusing on the male Karens. Yes. And uh we equal can opportunity be, here. Thank you. Yes, because they can be just as bad, if not in some cases worse uh, than the female Karens. Uh, but I, I will say that that man clearly has some deep seated insecurities. I mean, it, he's trying to like walk around looking like a tough guy, but in reality, he's an embarrassment. I mean, if I were related to him, I'd be deeply like embarrassed. I'd feel a deep level of shame. And for me, okay, so there's like the embarrassment part of it, but then there's this ongoing trend in the country, and it's been going on for several years now, that I just don't understand. And it's this desire to approach strangers and harass them out of nowhere, right? Just leave people alone. I mean, you certainly see this with individuals who still feel uncomfortable without a mask in public. They'll still wear masks when they're outdoors. Leave them alone, leave them alone. If they wanna wear masks when they're outside, let them wear masks. Why does it bother anyone? Um, in fact, I was approached by uh, two older ladies uh, in my neighborhood. I was walking around with a mask on, this is several <laughs> weeks ago. And I'm about to cross them, I'm walking my dog, we're about to cross paths. And one of them just asks me in like a very rude way, like why I'm wearing my mask. And I just had this knee jerk reaction of telling her to shut the F up. And I kept walking. Good for because you. Because like don't don't approach strangers with the one and only intention of getting under their skin or harassing them or bothering them. Like everyone's already dealing with a lot. So yeah. just whatever whatever issue this guy had, whatever deep seated insecurity he's got, go take a Krav Maga class. <laughs> Leave people alone. If you listen to the video, uh, the Karen, the Ken, is saying things like. Oh, y'all black folks or black people are supposed to be so strong, right? Like he's literally connecting the physical strength of this individual uh, to his blackness as if it deserves to be challenged just because it exists. And because it exists, I need to be the person to challenge this on behalf of the white race. Now, let me say this because I just, I wanna keep it 100 with you, Anna. Do you feel like I feel sometimes when you see white people do things like this? Like, let me tell you, I feel there's a part of me that always feels a little embarrassed when Ben Carson talks because he's black. And I'm like, damn, when Candace Owens speaks, I'm like, good God, 
she's black. And this is what she's saying and doing to represent black people, right? So there's a part of me that just feels like, I hate that we gotta take that one for the team. You know what I mean? Do you feel that mm-hmm. way when you see white people act like this? I don't, mostly because <laughs> I don't think that any individual or group of individuals is representative of an entire group, right? So, um, you know, I, I think that there sometimes is a temptation to feel that way when it comes to um, even smaller minorities. Like, for instance, Armenians are such a tiny, tiny population in the United States that, yeah. you know, if we ever get any type of publicity, I, I, I like it when it's positive publicity. I wasn't right. really a huge fan of like the Kardashians representing us for so long. But I, I also just don't really, you shouldn't feel embarrassed by Candace Owens. Like, because Candace Owens is not representative of black people at all. Candace Owens is representative of something that's very prominent in media right now, which is the grift. I mean, yeah, exactly. she realized that she could like carve out an avenue for herself by being a black woman who says awful things about black people. And we see that with other minorities, other disenfranchised groups. Um, Dave Rubin made an entire mm-hmm. career out of it as a gay person who says that he left the left because the left was too authoritarian or something. I mean, it's just, it's. I, I, I hope that people become a little faster in identifying these grifts as they happen. Because it keeps the cycle keeps repeating itself. But no, I, I don't feel embarrassed when I see a Ken or a Karen do embarrassing things. They don't represent me. Good for you. I, I'm, I'm working to get where you are right now. Uh, yeah, good for you.